Hi, this is Tim. I'd like to give you a little bit of my background so you can understand how I acquired the unique knowledge I have. My professional life began in the military. I'll read to you straight from one of my evaluations, my job description. Explosive Ordnance Disposal Technician Parachutist. Duties include detection, identification, render safe, recovery, and disposal of all U.S. and foreign nuclear, chemical, and conventional munitions, including terrorist devices. Also performs associated diving and demolition tasks. Further down it reads, assisted in the planning and safe execution of more than 200 EOD, which stands for Explosive Ordnance Disposal, diving missions including underwater demolition and mixed gas decompression dives as deep as 180 feet in support of Joint Task Force Middle East operations. If you look at the date on that evaluation, it was one month prior to me joining a network marketing business. I worked part-time for two years and then full-time for three. In that five-year time frame, I built a business that did $25 million and as much as $150,000 per month of income from my humble home. I retired from actively building and wrote and directed the production of Brilliant Compensation, which is a video that describes network marketing in a non-hype, factual way, but didn't promote any specific company. At the time, I had no idea what that video would unleash. To me, it was simply what I'd explain to people who were looking at my business. Regardless, it has become the standard explanation the network marketing industry uses. My next step was to improve the professionalism of all distributors in the industry by creating professional inviter and presenter, which got me noticed as a trainer. I was invited and taught a network marketing certificate course with Professor Charles King at the University of Illinois at Chicago. I was also interviewed by the legendary Larry King on distinguishing the difference between MLM, pyramids, and Ponzi schemes. A few months ago, there was a guy in my house named Tim Sales. We talked a lot about a lot of things, and I got fascinated with this whole MLM industry. I'll talk to him all about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, Tim Sales, come on out. So I was basically traveling the world, training hundreds of organizations and advising companies on training techniques, building strategies, and how to handle the media. This gave me a perspective on network marketing companies that I don't think anyone else in the world has. To say that I've been asked to look at a few businesses is an understatement. I've not just been offered to join, but have been offered millions to put my name on a company. I never said yes until now and they paid me nothing to join. You too are being asked to look at this information. You can look at it two ways. One is, someone is trying to rope you into something. The other way to look at it is, because someone, his name was Rick Mayo, showed this to me, I'm thousands of friends richer, I'm millions of dollars richer, and I use part of that money to get over a million children off of harmful drugs. I love and admire Rick Mayo for showing me how little old me could do something great in my life. So regardless of your actions at the end of the information I'm going to share with you, thank the person who's asked you to look at it. They are trying to help make your life better. Hi, I'm Tim Sales. Thank you for your interest in RX. The reason I've never said yes to joining a network marketing company in the last 18 years is because none have met my five requirements. As I explain these to you, please realize the order or sequence is as important as each individual requirement. Here's number one. The company must go long term. You have to be certain about this before you look at any of the four remaining points. It doesn't matter how good the products are, how fast the company is currently growing, or how much money people are making in the company, because I've watched each of those vanish overnight. And when it does, it doesn't matter how good you are, you cannot be successful in a failed company. Companies can quickly lose product licenses or the raw materials their products are based on. Poor legal policies can and have destroyed companies overnight. Fast growth kills companies faster than no growth. And people making quick, big money comes off the balance sheet somewhere. If it comes from monies needed to buy future inventory, those big checks are the beginning of the end. What I'm saying is, 
The reason I've resisted joining a company up until now is because I don't get dazzled by the chrome and the paint. I crawl under the car. I'm 100% confident in the RX executive management team because they, as a team, previously built and managed a debt-free, half a billion dollar publicly traded network marketing company. I was a consultant for that company and spent seven years with the management team, so I knew them personally and professionally. Each RX executive is an expert in their profession, and in some cases, they are masters at what they do. Contrast this to other companies I've seen. Many of the workers have the same last name as the owners, meaning they are hired because they're family instead of because they're experts at what they do. Something else that's important, the executives have already proven they work as a team with all pecking order issues resolved. When pecking order has not been resolved, you'll have a high turnover of executives at the top of the company. Had RX's management team's success been in traditional business instead of network marketing, I would not have joined them. You see, if the management team doesn't know the network marketing culture, it rarely works out long term. Traditional companies are often started with the end goal of selling the company. This creates behaviors that are not good for network marketing. These behaviors are often faint to the person who doesn't know what to look for. As an analogy, if you're going out for a day hike, you might pack a light windbreaker, a container of food, a bottle of water, you know, temporary. But if you were going on a two-year expedition, you'd pack differently. You'd pack for the long term. How my analogy translates into a network marketing company is that temporary behaviors will slip into view. Executives who come from a traditional business background think nothing about reducing a sales rep's commission while increasing their quotas and increasing the price of the product. They think nothing of the downstream effect of firing an employee or a sales rep. Why? Because they're serving the balance sheet so they can sell the company for their gain instead of serving the sales reps who built them. In network marketing, if you reduce the commissions or terminate a distributor, you absolutely destroy the distributor's belief because they thought they own their own business. 23 years in this industry has taught me that millions of people in network marketing tout that they own their own business, but if they dig into their company's policies and procedures that read that they don't have any more security than working for someone else. But in RX, that's not the case because we have the RX Representatives Bill of Rights. We, the representatives, have the right to veto terminations and we have the same voting power as the CEO and president on compensation plan changes. To me, the Bill of Rights is the greatest humanitarian event that has ever occurred in the network marketing industry. So reason number one that I chose RX is because the corporate executive team had the guts to do what's right. And number two, as a management team, they are proven as individuals and as a team. Finding a company with a truly proven network marketing executive management team never happens. This is a rare event. Veterans in this industry are always looking to find that company that will become the next billion dollar giant so they can get in and build and it be the last company they ever have to build. RX is it. Let's move to my second requirement. My second requirement is that the company have at least one flagship product that customers who are not part of the business love. When you look at all the billion dollar plus network marketing companies, this is what they all have in common. I call it products that sell outside the network. Companies whose products are only bought inside the network by distributors are targets for regulatory action, also known as pyramid law violations. What I'm looking for in the products are visual, emotional, consumable, and that require explanation. The true difference between network marketing and all other forms of marketing is that the network marketer has the trust and time to differentiate their product to the prospect. Although in network marketing we could sell almost anything, network marketing's sweet spot is the differentiation of a quality product. I would not want to sell anything where best price is my competitive advantage. This attracts the wrong kind of business builder and customer. I don't want commodity products or services that you can get anywhere. Electricity, phone, and internet services are a few that come to mind. The only thing a salesperson can do with a commodity is try to compete on price, 
for a short period of time. Excel Communications is your case study. They shot up to a billion dollars in just eight years and added over a million distributors. When a thousand competing phone companies lowered their prices on long distance, Excel lost their margins to pay the distributors. That caused them to terminate all distributors, but they kept the customers that the distributors brought them. That's why I emphasize find a quality product that needs to be differentiated. That's what network marketing does best. There are several products in the RX brands that fit my ideal. Let me share two examples. One is SlenderX because it did this to me with no exercise. SlenderX is unique because it's not based on shakes, prepared meals, or starvation. It has a clinical trial backing up the picture I just showed you, so it will never fit into a hyped up weight loss program. It causes visual and emotional response. It's consumable, requires explanation, and has a nice retail profit. Boom, the sweet spot of network marketing. The other product I'm focused on is Purity. Purity is a portable water filtration system. You just fill up the bottle with water from any source I might add and put the straw and the cap on the top and drink. The filter is in the straw. The unique part is what it filters out. The consumable part is that the filter has to be changed and the emotional and explanation parts occur when you explain to your prospect what's in the water they're drinking. I can tell you firsthand they will feel completely duped and feel a sense of duty to tell others. These two examples are not all the products by any means. Each RX product has unique selling features, but these two are products that I wanted to emphasize as examples of products that absolutely sell outside the network and require explanation. Let's go to my third requirement. My third requirement is that the company will grow and continue to grow. This requirement comes from my experience consulting hundreds of companies. Most companies don't grow because they can't attract big leaders. RX is very blessed to have great field leaders. We are all great friends. We each have our own techniques, but we all unite at the end goal, RX. It is an honor to serve with these leaders. I just got the top four income earners on the phone and asked them why they chose RX. Listen in. So Duke, why did you and Sheila join RX? Well, Tim, for us, I mean, originally we were in, actually looking for a company, and the biggest reason why we decided to join Rx was mainly because of the founders, the, the management. The management, I'm sure people may have heard this, but they have ran a company that was worth over half a billion dollars, and I was, uh, I was fortunate to work with them, of course, in that company. And once I learned the ropes working there, I was able to do very well and make a, a seven-figure income and actually become one of their top 25 income earners. And when I heard that they left, I said, I, I need to go with them because I know they have a track record of, of knowing what they're doing. And of course, that's why I decided to come on board with Rx. And what have you experienced so far, buddy? It's been phenomenal. The past couple of years, I would have to say a big part of that is because of Deanna Lapton. To have a philosophy of why have a product with a lot of good and a little bit of bad? That makes us, I think, quite unique. And I'll tell you, as we and uh, go out and get customers, just hearing the stories and also being able to talk with more pride because we know how good the products are and that there are no additives that shouldn't be in there that are not good for, for us as people. I'll tell you, we have gotten great results. I mean, just personal results, but the customers and what they've been saying, it's a great way to build up our income. And now today, our income has been completely replaced. Not just completely replaced, we, we do actually much better. What really excites us now in terms of our personal life is that we're able to now prepare to start our, our family. My wife, Sheila, is pregnant. And uh, yeah, I, what's great is that we will be able to spend our time seeing our, our child and eventually children grow up versus always being busy at work. And I, and I love that this company can provide that time for them. So, Steve, why did you join RX? Well, I joined RX because, you know, you and I are really good friends, and you had been looking at this uh, at, at RX and really kicking the tires on it, talking to the people that were uh, creating it and, uh, and the owners, the guys that I know I've been working with for a long time, 
And, you know, I, I figured if you're coming out of retirement to do this, uh, wow. I, at first I thought you were kind of joking. But then, you know, when you were real serious about it, I was like, wow, I've got to, uh, I don't want to miss this uh, opportunity. And uh, what we've created here with the management team, the way they work with us, it's just incredible. I mean, the Bill of Rights, how they take care of reps, you know, uh, that is very important. A lot of people overlook that. And uh, the, the fact that they, uh, they you know, work with us and, and the idea that we could create a multiple division company, you talk to me about that a lot, uh, how that works and where companies end up saturating their name and that whole conversation, you know, how companies saturate their name over time where people don't want to hear about that opportunity and the fact that RX wasn't going to do that and isn't doing that. And so I thought that those two ideas right there plus the Bill of Rights, uh, that was what really got my attention and uh, it's really fun to see it playing out now. It's great. So why do you think you're in the uh, top five income earners? The reason I believe I'm in the top five income earners is, one, I know the training. You know, there's the business orientation system training that we have that you put together. I actually know that information very well. I've been using it for years, and uh, I, I work to get my people through that so they actually understand we're all speaking the same language. The other part is, you know, uh, consistency, I mean, and uh, tenacity. I mean, I'm from the military. I was a military officer. Uh, I, I was in sports, and I know if you want to achieve anything great, you got to be on it uh, consistently, and uh, there's going to be roadblocks, and there's going to be bumps, and there's going to be things that happen, but you have to have that goal set out in front of you so you keep, so those things don't trip you up. So the consistency, the training, and tenacity, I would say, are the major reasons. It's perfect. I'd agree with you. So, Lynn Allen Johnson, why did you choose RX? Well, Tim, I chose RX initially because of my relationship with the management team. Because business, for me, it's about trust. And there has to be a congruency between the company management and the leaders in the field. And after spending 15 years as a leader in another company, I knew what I didn't want. I know the management team of RX personally, and I know their hearts and their passion and their vision, and I know where they're going to take this company, and I just couldn't wait to be a part of it. And then there's my health. Oh my gosh, what a difference. Our homeopathic weight loss product has completely changed my life. Here I am, 40 pounds lighter, having more energy than most people half my age, and feeling healthier and younger than I did 20 years ago. Need I say more? <laughs> Joining Not RX, it's the best decision I've ever made. That's fantastic. Have you kept the weight off? Yes, I've kept the weight off. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to go on on my next mission right now. It's like I got to there and was so darn proud of myself for doing it that I stopped because I went from my size one X to a size ten. But now I'm realizing, okay, Lynn, you got 15 more pounds to lose, so now it's it's now it's on again. I'm going back, and I'm going to focus, and I'm going to get down to the weight that I was when I was in my 20s. So I'm fired up. Woohoo! Awesome. Pretty awesome. Yeah, very well done. So Todd, why did you join RX? Well, Tim. Ashley and I, like a lot of people, were, were moving kind of through life. I was a football coach. She was a stay-at-home mom with four kids and just kind of struggling paycheck to paycheck, not unhappy. We, we were excited about life but just couldn't get ahead, and we were exposed to the direct sales industry. Very part-time, one foot in, one foot out, but it worked. We began to make a paycheck part-time and got more engaged and ended up being full-time in the direct sales industry for the last 11 years It it's paid our family millions of dollars, and 11 years full-time in the industry came to a crossroads that we were going to pick the perfect company to spend the rest of our life in, that we knew we could look anybody in the eye and say, listen, if you go do the work here, this company is going to do what it takes on the inside to pay you a residual paycheck for the rest of your life. And, Tim, that, that's just like traditional business. That has a lot to do with them setting up the perfect legal staff, uh, the perfect CFO, and one of the biggest things for us, Tim, was the perfect product line and lines. Uh, we, we believe that the products with RX are by far the best products on planet Earth. They make a difference in people's life. People lose weight. They have more long, uh, youthful appearance, uh, longevity, and that product line has, the ability, has to have the ability to diversify into time, and 
RX has forethought that into the future. As you indicated to me, Tim, when we were first discussing this company, and uh, we have the ability here at RX in year two, three, four, five, and six, not just to bring more products into the nutritional line, but actually bring new lineups into the RX line, which gives this company the ability to run into time, be international, and really be an avenue for that person out there that wants to do better to go create a new life in. Tim, we're super excited about this company. So what do you think of the Bill of Rights, bud? It's everything, Tim. In this type of uh, industry, you own your own business, but yet you're not really the owner of the company, and that's the Achilles heel of the network marketing industry. If people are independent, which is better than being an employee, but they're always subject to the uh, the thought patterns of the corporate staff, which may be maybe not ever malicious, but yet maybe not always in the best interest of the rep either. And this company's bill of rights for us, the reps, for you, the rep, uh, that gives you the ability to have something to stand on if they decide to choose something. One of my favorites, Tim, is if they ever decide to change something within the policy procedure, they say it's better for us. If you don't feel like it's better, you have the ability to rescind that and, and claim the, the policy procedure that you signed up with. And, Tim, I can't overstate how important that is when you own your own business in this industry. Exactly. RX has already had record-setting growth despite being a new company. Normally, when companies do grow, all of them run into two enemies that can stop or slow down the company's growth. Number one is bad media that destroys the company's public relations value, which either cripples them or takes them completely out of the game. The second enemy is when the company does grow, they become well-known and soon haunted with the perception of being saturated. In network marketing, you don't saturate a product, as long as you have a product that sells outside the network. But you can saturate the name of the business opportunity. Business people want to get into a new, vibrant, growing company. It's probably the reason you're looking at RX instead of a 20 or 50 year old company. So just how is RX going to handle these two enemies? Incidentally, no other company has properly handled or prepared to handle these two enemies. RX has their products inside different brand names. Weight management products inside the Slenderize brand. Water filtration products inside their Purity brand. Nutrition products inside their Nutrify brand. Not only does each brand attract a different type of business builder, it also attracts a specific customer focus. But the real benefit is that it creates some protection from those two enemies, bad public relations and the perception of saturation. Brands of products within one structure is similar to a mall. The obvious advantage is that if one of the stores in the mall gets attacked by the media, has slumping sales, or even fails, it doesn't affect the entire mall. In the same way, if the media were to attack one of our brands, it doesn't damage all of RX or other brands. To give you an example of the power of brands, does this image make you think Coca-Cola? Of course not. Does this image make you think Coca-Cola? Probably not. But both of those brands are owned by Coca-Cola. You may or may not be aware that Dasani got attacked in the media for being one of the primary contributors of plastic bottle pollution. That's why there's green leaves around this bottle. Isn't it interesting that Powerade was never brought up in the media attack? That's the value of putting your businesses in brands. In addition, and the primary point I wanted to make is that if you know the history of Dasani, you'll know that when the Coca-Cola company launched the Dasani brand, it reversed Coca-Cola's downward trend and caused Coca-Cola to continue to grow. So if or when sales of one of the RX brands slow down, get attacked by the media, or get the perception of saturation, RX can launch another brand, which causes the company to grow and continue to grow for centuries. They already have several new brands on the idea board, like Healthy Baby Academy, teaching moms to have healthy babies, healthy financials, stocks and real estate investing, healthy home and healthy skin. So to wrap up this section, I'm very impressed with RX's strategy of growth and continued growth. Let's move to requirement number four, your compensation. My fourth requirement is that the company must pay you well for your production. As a disclaimer, I'm not going to explain all the fine details and requirements here. This is just a rough overview of what I was looking for in the pay plan. 
I needed three specific features, retention and retail, full-time income, and retirement income. Retention income is how you keep people in the business. The easiest way to retain someone is to have them earn free products. In any of the RX brands, if you get and keep just four people on about $100 of products monthly, you'll earn enough commissions that your $100 of monthly products are paid for. Retail profit is what you make when you sell a product to a customer who is not in the business. As an example, you buy Slenderex, one of our weight management products, for as low as $80 and sell it for $150. You make $70. If you sell two of those in a day, you make $140. That's equivalent to about $17.50 an hour. If you think about all the people who work in retail, like in a mall, $17.50 an hour is way higher than those people working at a job. And that hourly income was for only making two sales. Retail profit gives a person the extra income to advertise and build their business towards a full-time income. If you can't picture yourself as a retail salesperson, that's fine. Just picture yourself as the owner of a retail store and having sales reps. And what I've just shown you is what they can earn. Getting people to a full-time income is the next step. RX calls this income base pay. Let's say this box represents you. Visually, you can imagine your retail customers would sit out here. In the beginning, you will build just two teams. You can think of this as bringing on two sales reps. Let's call them Team 1 and Team 2. If you find another person who wants to join you, you can put them here or here, or you can start another team. But let's keep it simple for this explanation. When these two organizations each do about $4,500 of sales volume, you'll be making over $500 a week. Sales volume is all the volume you and your customers have ordered and all the volume from your teams and all their customers. When each of those two organizations are doing about $9,000 in sales volume, you'll be earning $1,000 a week. When the sales volume in each of those organizations reaches $18,000, you'll be making about $2,000 a week. Annualized, that's a six-figure income. Leaders, listen up. When your income reaches $2,000 a week, you can add another team over here. And when that team sales volume gets to $18,000, you're making another $2,000 a week for a total of four grand a week. Or, if you prefer, you can put another one of these boxes. They're called income positions under one of your existing teams and do it again to an additional $2,000 a week. Regardless of how you do it, most people will have achieved a full-time income. The third and final piece I was looking for in the compensation plan was what's known in the network marketing industry as the back end or retirement money. The back end money is for those who want to play the big game. Every person you personally bring into any of the RX brands you can make an additional 15% of whatever their base pay check is. As an example, if someone you brought into the business earns $2,000 a week in base pay, you can qualify to make an additional $300 per week. This is your reward for helping other people get to a full-time income. Everyone they've brought in is your second generation. And you can also qualify to earn 10% of the base pay of all of them. There's more, a lot more. You can also earn 5% on all your third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh generation base pay checks. This can be enormous. There are several other bonuses that you can qualify for, like car bonus, bonus pool income, as well as fun incentives like cruises and vacations. The bottom line is, RX pays up to 35% more money than any other compensation plan I've ever seen. So it's a resounding yes that I will be paid well for my production. Let's move to my final requirement. My final requirement is that the training must produce a successful representative. When you've checked off the previous four requirements on my list, the last item would have to be getting help in building your business. 
The network marketing business will never be more than simply a person, you, who wants to own your own business while using RX's resources like products, new countries, websites, sales rep management software, marketing campaigns, and training systems. The reason training is the last item on my list is because even if you get no help, you could still make RX work. But fortunately for you, this will not be the case because all the leaders in RX have training at the core of what they do. Now, every company in network marketing has what they call training, but the word training is subjective. I've witnessed training that was nothing more than a person on the stage who said, if you have a big enough why, you can find a way. If that statement were true, why do people drown? Most of the time, people need procedures, techniques, and someone to guide them. If they could have done it on their own, they already would have. The field leaders in RX, including myself, train with a focus on the person doing the business. I'm known in the network marketing industry worldwide for my unique style of training, specifically my drills, which get people actually doing the business. In case you don't know what drills are, you do something repeatedly while being coached until you get it right. Elite people keep drilling until they can't do it wrong. I learned all of this in the underwater bomb squad. The costs were too high for any teammate to not understand something or not be able to actually defuse the bomb when they were the most scared and most distracted by the underwater environment. That's why we drilled the correct procedure over and over and over until we couldn't do it wrong. I brought that same emphasis and discipline to RX. I don't believe there's a person who can't succeed in RX because we break each piece of the process down into trainable and doable steps. As an example, talking to a prospect about a product or the business is simply greet them, qualify them, which is to find out what they need and want, invite them to look at something that will help them get what they want. There may be a new person who doesn't do the greeting very well, or goose on the qualify or the invite step, but each of those are easily corrected. I've put all my tools in the back office that you get when you join RX. I hope that while I've explained why I chose RX, that I've helped you to understand how to choose the right company. If so, welcome to RX. I'm Tim Sales. All right, once I saw all five of my requirements had been met, I'm not a person to overthink something or procrastinate. So I went into the office. So, Tim Sales, this is a monumental <laughs> moment. I want this forever. The, the biggest wig in the entire planet is about to sign signed up and bought a product package. And what a ride it's been. Fire up. Tristan and he is walking for the first time. See if he'll do it. Let's go find some fish. Whoa.
There you go. Whoa! <laughs> you're gonna get it, because all that matters is you're going fishing. We gotta be the best, the best we can be. And there's something we don't want to still. We gotta chase our dreams, reach up and reach high, because we're gonna pull it through and give it all we got, even though it can't be hard to catch and make it happen. But we can't start sliding. Come on and do what you gotta do to fight on. Are you going to the rough house? Oh, my God.